So let's say that you want to monitor some web pages or websites on some specific time interval. For example, it, every few minutes or every two hours or once a day. In this case, uh, I want to monitor this product so to see if this price going to change uh, over time. So this is where schedule option is coming handy. So in just a couple of clicks, you can schedule the instance, which will automatically run every X amount of time. So I'm going to turn it on by clicking over here. And as you can see over here, I have the interval. Uh, by default, it's five. And I can say, OK, go every five minutes or hours a day or however I put out there. I can say go every 20 minutes. In this example, I'm just going to put every one minute just for demonstration purpose. So you can see how it's uh, working. So since it's uh, that's on, I gonna create a new instance. So let's see, create and run. Let's go there. Wait, and now as you can see, we have the timer here, which is the next run. So basically we, we run it now and it's going to run next time in 36 seconds. So let's wait and see how it's going to trigger it. Let's see in the logs, that's what we got. All right, let's be patient for 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And as you can see, it started automatically. The instance is running, it's gonna collect data, it's gonna stop, and so on. The next run is, will be again in 47 seconds. So this is um, how the schedule option work. It's really, really handy and powerful especially when you combine with uh, other features.